Oh, before I forget to mention, I think we were looking at Bobby's painting earlier, and um, uh, Bobby had, um, I think Susan might have as well on hers, um, but there's, and, and I will try and go in close. These are runbacks, these are cauliflowers, but I love them. I mean, they have their place. I think the problem is with traditional watercolor, um, sometimes we go back enough years in the past, I think they were looked upon as the scourge of watercolor, you know, that you avoid them at, at all cost. Um, I don't see that at all. I, I, I came across an artist by the name of John Blockley many years ago, probably back in about 1975, something like that. And um, I saw how he incorporated uh, what we call cauliflowers. You might call them runbacks, uh, whatever. Um, and they are just in the right place they, they will paint low-lying vegetation much better than you you could do with a paintbrush in your hand. Um, so it's it's exquisite. It's it's I love it, and I use that I use that in trees a lot. Um, I've even got away with it sometimes in the lower parts of distant skies. So don't dismiss cauliflowers. Yes, they will pop up from time to time in the wrong place, um, but uh, in the right place, there's nothing to beat them when it comes to convincing looking uh vegetation and can you control them can you control them and, you, and create you can, them yourself john, you can john you, i i purposely encourage them quite often in my paintings if i've got the right painting um absolutely you can uh, just to explain what what is actually physically happening is um what you've done is what, what, what's happening here it, it's um that area of my painting my my piece of paper that's what it is uh, that's the last thing to dry out. It retains all the moisture and water because it runs up to the tape edge. This is masking tape, decorator's tape, and the water sits there and eventually it can't go in the direction it wants to go anymore because the surface is not, uh, um, it's not absorbent anymore. So it goes back on itself. It, it'll even defy gravity. It'll go back because it's much easier for water to travel back where there's water than it is for water to travel over where there's dry surface. So that's what a run back is. It's simply water moving back to where it came from because it's easier to do that for, for it. So if they occur elsewhere, what's happened is you've picked up a brush with too much. Perhaps you meant to um, deliver a nice little dark shape like at the bottom of my tree. And what happened perhaps was you didn't get the mix right in the brush. It's too much water in the mix in the brush. And you'd gone into the tree area and there was still dampness in the tree area. Then you're guaranteed uh, a, a cauliflower, a run back. That's how they occur. That's why they occur. It's wet on wet. So it goes back. It, it can't go any other direction because it's too dry. The surface is too dry. It goes back on itself. Um, but don't dismiss them because they are they could be fantastic things um great okay yeah and and more there's a on top of that again you know for another for another lesson i could show you actually how to turn them into colored uh, we can color these uh run backs so you can imagine something like that on a distant field at the edge of a distant field forget all that up there for the moment okay um and ima just imagine for me at the moment that this is a mini long elongated landscape painting. And that there is the edge of your field, my tape, and all those lovely little runbacks are the hedgerows. Okay. Um, can you see it okay? Yes, yes, yeah. I can I can picture um, that. And not only that, before they get a chance to dry out completely, before they stop moving, you can take a a a a, 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 a a favorable color, maybe like a, a lemon yellow, while it's still very wet, and drop a little bit of that color into those foot into those as they're still developing, and you can break that up with color. Um, it's I, I love it. I mean, I, I will show that again at another another workshop. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Trina says, "Oh, great! Howard's got ideas for many more workshops." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, never never short of an idea. Um, yeah, so folks, let's let's tackle this. I think it's a little on the too bright, too light. So I'm picking up.